I'm back with another one today. I Me, mean, which not today again, another banger once more, guys. What's going on, guys? It is your boy Ty. Today, again, I'm bringing you guys my second bill of the day. Now, this right here is gonna be the blah bill. So basically, the comp center bill for all the comp guards, especially in stage. Now, I'm also gonna have a popper build for you guys. If you guys know what a popper build is? Pick and pop. That's what a popper build is, guys. Without further ado. Let's get into this video. Hey guys, so the Blah build, aka the most overpowered center build in this game, this is going to make a lot of people mad, honestly. It really is. You guys can go with the pure red pie chart. Now, this is going to be toxic. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be toxic. Now, for the physical pie chart, the Blah build is all about speed over strength. So, and you don't you don't even need vertical because you're going to be, sh you know, short anyway. So, you don't even need, need vertical. Click that. Hold up. Click. Click that right there. The top one. Yeah. 75 speed. Click that. We're going we, we gonna to sauce it up a little bit. We're going to make it even better. Trust me. All right. Now, first thing y'all want to do with this, y'all want to instantly get onto this. You know what I'm saying? Like, just instantly get onto this. Like, this already need to be maxed out. All of it. I don't care what you say. You guys can probably bring some stuff down if you want to to save attributes. This build is meant for comp, okay? When I say comp, I mean stage. And, yeah basically good park players okay i don't see why you have any of these things down yes you'll save badge points obviously if you bring some of these things down but why would you do that you are a defensive primary build if you guys don't want to be a defensive primary build go make something else this right here is, is the, the snack god believe it's that all right now after that driving layup max driving dunk max and standing dunk max now also close shot max now you guys don't really have to go anything higher than that all you guys will need is 16 you guys don't really need uh, anything else besides that if you guys want to go more you can but uh i recommend throwing that ball control up and this up and so, so you just so you guys can get quick first step that is why i say throw this up if you guys you know if you guys want one more badge you guys can it won't make really much of a difference but you guys can do that as well but um yeah play with it a little bit and see exactly how you like it you guys can get 17 it's really about how you really want it if do you would you guys rather have 17 finishing or four playmaking that's how you that's really how you guys gotta look at it but um if, you know if i add all these to this i only gotta add enough to where i get this and then the rest of it i can really just add to this you know i can take if i want to really you know get to 17 that bad you know i could take some off my I could take something off of another stat and add it to this, but I'm not willing to do that because it's really not that serious. It's not even that important. I'd rather have this, but I still have six left. So I'm going to go ahead and just add the rest of my six to, uh, I, mean, I won't get four. I mean, I won't get what's it called. So just leave that at three, wherever I can get it at three, leave that at three and just add the rest of this, you know, you get the 17, just like that. Okay. That's how you guys gonna make this build. I probably stuttered a little bit while making that because i tried to balance it perfectly for y'all so you guys get the 17 finishing three play making 30 might think that's trash but you guys remember you guys are this is not a build that you shoot with this is a build that you get boards with you, you set screen and you roll to the basket you don't need to be shooting and the reason i say have this in case is so you guys can get some play making whatsoever a little bit rather than nothing you know what i'm saying so that's why i say have this now for the body shot, you guys want to go whatever you guys want to. Whenever I make a big man, I normally go either uh, I might go compact or soft. I mean, I normally go define. My bad. I normally go define. So I recommend guys going define. I don't recommend burly because I don't like burly or build. It makes you look OP. I'm sorry, it just does. It doesn't even look like burly or build anyway. Now for the height, drop that down. Drop that down. Now you guys can either go six eight, six seven between you guys, but don't go six seven in my opinion. Don't go six seven because this is why I say go. Don't go six seven. Yeah, you get plus 16 on your lateral quickness and your ladder, uh, and your perimeter defense and your steal, but your block goes down way too much. But that's gonna make up for the wingspan, obviously. Honestly, guys, after reevaluating, I think I might go six seven because you know I feel like six seven would be better. So yeah, go six seven for weight. Drop that weight down. This is a, this is this is a blob build, by the way, guys. So you know, and max that out. That's it right there. That right there is the blob build right here. Now I know you guys looking like this, like ooh, I don't like that. But guys, this is, is you are you are super strong, uh, super fast for one. You get contact done. You can still body in the paint, and you still have all your defensive stats in the 80s anyway. Now if you guys want to go six eight and go minimum weight, and then go max wingspan, you're not gonna get a 90 speed. Yeah, you'll have 90 rebound, but you guys, you know, this game is all about positioning over, you know, how tall you are, really. So as long as you have good positions, you should be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so go ahead and put that at uh, your max, the wingspan out. 
and your stock's gonna be looking like this. All in the 80s, all still really, really good, okay? Takeover, 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 takeover. There's no other takeover you should be using besides glass cleaning takeover. And we get a glass cleaning finisher. That is the blah build. Now there's some ways you can tweak it around. I think if you get 16, I think if you get uh, no playmaking, like, so if you guys take playmaking away and put it all on finishing and defensive, you'll get a paint beast. But this right here, you don't want that. You know, this is like a blob, you know what I'm saying? Now guys, for the badges, I don't, I can't really give you guys too much information on the badges because I am not a, uh, you know, I haven't experimented enough with the badges to know exactly what they do. But I already know you guys want to put put, the, put that on quick first step. That's you no know, if and the bust about it. You know, you guys are gonna want rim, you guys are gonna want rebound tracer Hall of Fame. You guys wanna know you guys are gonna want all these major badges for defense on Hall of Fame, no matter what. Whether it's box, you know, you guys decide how you guys want to apply these badges or really yourself. I I don't know because you know there's new badges so I gotta look over it, just like minutes. You know what I'm saying? I gotta look at it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Finishing. Uh, they took some badges out for finishing. Look at the badges yourself and see exactly what they have. They added post riser back, which is good. You know, you guys add limits take off, so you guys can take off from further away where you get contact dunks because this build right here is also really good with contact dunks because it is smaller, it's faster, and, you know, and it can still body. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's still a go to build regardless. But you guys decide how you guys want to apply these badges. Either way, this is the best build for, you know, for centers. If you are inside center, I will be dropping an outside center build. That's going to be fire. Yeah, I said like in the beginning of the video, a pick and popper. It's going to be fire. Big body at that too. You know what I'm saying? But guys, also, if you guys are interested in next gen bad, uh, uh, next gen builds, I will be dropping those as well. But I have to experiment because that build system is a little bit more complex. So, yeah, they actually did a good job of balancing next gen this year. But thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you're new. We're going to 100k subscribers. It's been your boy Ty. I'm out. That boys and girls say safe.